What's up, guys? This is Clay. I'm the president and owner of Thunder Laser USA. And today, I wanted to take a second to talk about some quick tips and tricks that I see users make, and let's go over them. Okay, guys, the number one thing that we see new users get wrong is their scan offsets. So inside your, inside your machine in the toolbox, you'll find a little gold card that looks like this, and it's got some numbers written on it. You have to enter these into the software. Now, we have an article in our knowledge base if you search for scanning offsets, you'll find the article on how to get these into your machine, but it's very important to do so, otherwise your engravings will come out blurry. The second thing that I see new users make a mistake is around focus. So I'm gonna show you guys how to autofocus and how to manually focus, but just generally, I see a lot of users um, just way too close to the beam or way too far away. So you just wanna make sure that your laser beam is the proper distance away. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. I'll show you how to autofocus first, and then I'll show you how to manual focus. So if you want to autofocus, you just put your laser head over your material like this, and then you just come over to the controller, and you hit this button that says AF, autofocus. It's going to say the autofocus operation will be performed, and it'll move, OK. The laser head moves, and it brings the Z-bed up, and then it drops it back down. Now, if you're going to be uh, doing something that you really care about the results and you wanna get the most precise focus, you wanna use this manual focus tool and that just drops down right on top of these screws like this. And so you can see guys how it's touching the, the board right there. So you can also manual focus. You can just set the, the tool on there and then bring the material up to it. And that's how you focus. The third thing I see new, new users get wrong is origin. So let's talk about it. I'm gonna to try to make it real simple. Um, the first thing you wanna look at is right here on the start from. I would just recommend everybody start with user origin as you're getting to know the machine. These other ones are kind of more advanced. And then you'll either select the top left box or the center box. And so what this means guys, you'll, and you'll notice this green dot is changing as I move these. This is just telling the laser like, hey, if your origin is right here, if you set the origin on the machine right here, then the engrave is gonna go down and to the right. If you use center engraving, then that means the machine, wherever the origin is, it's going to set it around it. So this is helpful if you're using, uh, you know, round items like coasters or something like that to be able to just set it right in the middle of the, the coaster, and then it'll, it'll easily engrave around it. So I would set the origin right here and then it would engrave around, around the center origin. Okay guys, so I got the file sent over as a center origin. So I'm going to move the laser head over into the center of the coaster, and then I'm going to hit the origin button. One thing I do wanna note here guys, so the laser actually needs a little bit of extra space uh, after your engraving because it's, it actually goes past your engraving a little bit. And if you go past your engraving and you're off the work area of the bed, you're actually gonna get this error that says, um, it has detected the processing range of the file, exceeds the working format and the work. So basically it's just saying that, hey, you're trying to engrave off the bed space. So if you see that error, that means you need to scoot your engraving a little bit more to the, to the middle of the bed. So I'm gonna say, okay, and then I'm gonna go back, hit origin. And then this actually leads me into my fourth tip, guys, which is the frame button. Uh, a lot of users don't know about this button. The frame button will actually outline where the laser is going to work. So you just hit the frame button and then it's going to show you exactly where you're gonna engrave. It's very helpful uh, for lining things up and that sort of thing. Okay, guys, the fifth tip and trick I have for you is material risers. So we actually use magnets on ours to lift the material off the bed. Uh, and you wanna do that with wood and especially acrylic because you'll find that you'll get these little flashback marks. So if the material is setting on the bed, uh, you'll actually, as the laser hits the honeycomb, it's gonna spark and it leaves these little marks. So if you find your projects doing that with either acrylic or wood or really anything, uh, material risers are a great way to get the material off the bed so that it doesn't do that. Okay guys, that was just a few tips and tricks that I've learned throughout my years of laser engraving. And I uh, hope you guys found that helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us.